गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ मैथ्स दैट इज चैप्टर ट्वेल्व मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम चिल्ड्रेन इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ एवरीथिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन टाइम सो हाउ डू यू कम टू नो दैट दिस इज द टाइम टू गो टू द स्कूल और दिस इज द टाइम टू वॉच टीवी और दिस इज द टाइम टू स्टडी और प्ले बाई लुकिंग एट द clock only by looking the clock you can find that this is the time to watch tv or this is the time to go to the school or this is the time to study okay now let's first understand the meaning of time the interval between the two events is known as time now let's understand something about the clock The flat surface of the clock is known as face of the clock or dial. Can you see a clock has 12 numbers? That is 1 2 12. Okay. And like we have two hands similarly like that clock also has two hands. In some clock there are three hands. but two hands is more important but it has one long hand and one short hand long hand is known as minute hand and short hand is known as hour hand and this is known as second hand now let's see some important point children as you know in 1 hour 1 hour equal to 60 minutes means in 1 hour there are 60 minutes in 1 minute there are 60 seconds and in 1 day there are 24 hours children as you know this is our hand and our hand take 1 hour to move from one number to the next on the clock for example our hand take 1 hour to move from 3 to 4 whereas in 1 hour the minute hand goes round the clock once like see here now the minute hand is pointing the 12 and the hour hand pointing 3 like see here the minute hand goes round the clock okay see minute hand comes to the 12 and the hour hand move from 3 to 4 as you know minute hand moves round the clock once in 1 hour or 60 minutes and it moves one digit to next digit in 5 minutes okay we always start counting time from the 12 okay when the minute hand moves from 12 to 1 it complete 5 minutes when minute hand moves from 12 to 1 means it is completed 5 minute then it moves 1 to 2 in another 5 minute okay so means total 12 to 1 5 minute plus 1 to 2 5 minute means total 10 minute when it moves to 3 means it is 15 minute means there is a difference of 5 minutes 
to go from one number to the next number okay therefore we need to multiply the number where the minute hand is by 5 to get the minute means when the minute hand is at 1 it is 5 minute when minute hand is at 2 means 10 minute when minute hand is at 3 means 15 minute and so on or children you can multiply the number in which the minute hand is by 5 Now the minute hand is at seven, and five sevens are thirty-five. So here is thirty-five minute. Okay, when minute hand is at nine, means nine fives are forty-five. Means forty-five minute. Now the minute hand is at ten, means ten fives are fifty. Fifty minute. and now the minute hand is at 11 means 11 fives are 55 so it is 55 minute and when the minute hand comes again to the 12 means it completed 60 minute or 1 hour children can you see the lining between the 12 and 1 there are five lines One, two, three, four, and five, and this is minute line. When one minute is completed, the minute hand goes here. When two minute will complete, then it moves to this place. Okay, is it clear? And this second hand complete one round in. 1 minute children as you know in one day there are 24 hours means our hand move twice in a day means two round complete the our hand and minute hand complete 24 round in a day now let's learn how to read time when minute hand pointing 12 and the hour hand pointing 5 means it is 5 o'clock children when the minute hand is at 6 means 30 minute half of 60 you can see the minute hand is at 6 and the hour hand is between 4 and 5 so in simple language we can say the time is 4:30 but in language of time we can say half past 4 now the minute hand is at 3 and the hour hand is not exact at 2 it is near to the minute hand is at 3 means 15 minute means half of half half of half we will say quarter in simple language the time is 2:15 but in language of time the time is quarter past 2 and now the minute hand is at 9 means 45 minute in simple language the time is 2:45 children you can see to complete 3 o'clock 15 minutes left so this is also half of half to complete 3 o'clock the time is quarter to 3 because why we say 3 because now the time is going to 3 o'clock okay see here the minute hand is at 3 means 15 minute 
15 minutes we can say 1 quarter of an hour now when the minute hand is at 6 means 30 minutes it is 1 half of an hour and when it is at 9 means 45 minutes 45 minutes is 3 fourth of an hour now see the exercise question question number 1 write down the time in two different ways we have to write the time in two different ways see the a question here the hour hand is at 2 and the minute hand is at 12 means the time is 2 o'clock the first way we can write 2 dot 0 0 and then the second one is 2 o'clock now see the B here the R hand is not exact at 3 it is near to 3 and the minute hand is at 9 means 45 minute in first way we can write it as 2 45 or we will write 45 minute past P A S T okay P A S T past 2 now see the question number D here the minute hand is at 6 and our hand is between 5 and 6 means the time is 5.30 30 is half of 60 so we will write half past 5 ok is it clear 5.30 and half past 5 now see the question F the our hand is at 6 not exact 6 but near 6 and the minute hand is at 11 so 11 fives are 55 means 55 minutes so we can write it as 5 55 or 55 minutes past 5 ok is it clear now see the question number 2 draw the hand to show the time here the time is written we have to draw the hands the first is 220 20 means 2 5 uh, sorry in table of 5 where the com where it comes 20 5 4 za. so the minute hand will draw at 4 and the hour hand it as 2 not exactly 2 but it as Two, okay. Now the next one is nine fifty. Five times are fifty, so the minute hand we will draw at ten, and the hour hand will near to ten. Okay, not at nine because now it is going to complete ten o'clock. Okay, now see six ten. 10 means 5 to 10. So minute hand is at 2 and the hour hand is at 6. Now D. 440. 40 the minute hand will be at 8 and the hour hand it is between 4 and 5. Now see the question number 3. What will be the time? Question A. 2 hour after 7 o'clock. What will be the time after 2 o'clock? Add 2 more in 7. 8, 9. Means 9 o'clock. Now see the question number C. 2 hour before 6. Before means pehle. In before just cut 2. Subtract 2 in 6. Subtract 2, 6 minus 2 is 4, means 4 o'clock. Okay. Now see question number 4. How many hours does the hour hand take to move from? Question A. 
how many hours it will take to move from 9 to 11? Just add it 9, 10, 11. 2 hours. Now see 7 to 8. 7 to 8 means 1 hour. Next 6 to 9. Just add 7, 8, 9. 3 hours. Now see the question number 5. Express the time shown by the clock in two ways. We have to write it in two ways. The A is 4.45. The first way we can write it as 45 minutes past 4. Means 45 minutes passed by 4. And 15 minutes left to complete 5. So we can write it as 15 minutes to 5. Okay. Now see the next one. 2.55 means 55 minutes past 2. Means 55 minutes past means only 5 minutes left to become 3. So we can write it as 5 minutes to 3. Okay children like this you can solve exercise 12.1. So question number 1 and question number 5 is your classwork and rest question is your homework. Okay till then. Thank you.